Tesla to launch full self-driving car uh, oh. subscription within four months. Elon Musk says that Tesla will launch it it's full service uh, in the next three to four months. The automaker is set to launch the option for full self-driving package, which costs ten thousand dollars at the purchase of a new Tesla vehicle. Here's what you get with the package: navigate on autopilot, auto lane change, auto park, summon full self-driving computer, traffic light and stop light control, stop sign control. Tesla also plans for the package to eventually lead to full self-driving capability, but the automaker has already missed a few timelines on that front, and even if it achieved it, the release will be dependent on regulatory approval, which is market-specific. Yeah, okay, that package is missing the driver. Just saying. <laughs> So what do you think? Because I, 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 I mean, know you're, you're an Uber guy. Yeah. So I, this, Tesla comes out with something like this. Would you buy it? Is this, is this true? You don't drive a car? I no. Don't, no. No, I don't. But that's a I good thing I for America. Car, I haven't it's, had a car in 10 years. It's, it's, it's <laughs> actually, the world is a safer place yes. without Adam the driving. The sidewalks yes. of Boca Raton are safe. Yes. Okay. My, well, my bicycle is pretty rad, dude. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> Did you say tricycle? Is it really, though? You have one of those. I have a bike. Do you, you have a real nice bike, or you got one of those, like, uh, It's a beach cruiser. I'm, I'm not, I'm just taking my time. I'm, you know, it's good for South Beach. I'm not trying to win a marathon here, but back to Tesla. This wow. is so much fun. Dan Danielle, imagine if we had some wine here. This, I feel like we do a late night, one night. Um, wow. Like, this is happening. We, like, I remember seeing, you know, test drive. You know, have you seen the, you know, the cars with the sign on it? Like The Jetsons? Not, well, that too. But <laughs> you would see driverless. It would have a sign on it. Driverless car. Like, you know, just be careful. Like, we're out here. And it's happening. Like, there's full-on driverless cars now. So, like, you, for instance, you joked about it earlier. Imagine you buy a Tesla. You're Pat. You got Zoom calls. You're doing interviews. You got, you're doing dream team meetings. And you're not even having to look at the road. This is pretty impressive stuff. This is, like, where we're at right now in, a, in, in life right now in 2021 is that you just get behind a wheel of a Tesla if, if and they, get to where you're if going. If there was a full-on self-driving car that all you do is sit, put the address, it goes to it, would you buy it? I, I mean... Or would you still stick to Uber? Like, would you buy it? Would you buy a self-driving car? You don't do the driving. It's purely automatic. The, the thing with me is why I didn't have a car was because I lived in downtown Miami. And to get anywhere I was going, it's all within... A, Two miles. Five dollar Uber. Yeah. And half the time, quite frankly, I was going to South Beach and partying and drinking. And the last thing I needed to be doing was having a car. So if you don't, and I've said this a million times, if you don't have a car payment and if you're not paying for insurance and you're not paying for gas and maintenance and flat tire and somebody hits your rear view mirror and you're driving a curve and next thing you don't even nail your, like you can save a lot of money. And I've saved a lot of money not having a essentially a $10,000 expense for 10 years, putting that into the market. We knows what's happened in the market. Like I've gone on on that. So for me, it's not about, oh, I don't want to actually drive. It's the, it's the financial component. But for someone like you, who it's, has kids, has a family, it has to drive around, you're moving, you're grooving, yeah. and you're doing 10 different things all at once. I don't see a reason why you would not consider this. I would. I think if there's a self-driving car that takes me anywhere, the challenge is also, I like driving though. I enjoy driving. That's crazy. I, let me tell you what happened the other day. The other day, I missed having a stick shift. Like, I missed driving stick shift. Car. Yeah. Like our friend Paul. Oh, I mean, you know, it's, do you, is your stick shift or no? Yeah. What, which car is stick shift? The Challenger? No, it's not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, that a, is that an option? Like, you have an option to pick up stick shift? No, it's full manual. It's 100% manual. 100% manual. Oh, let me I tell you. I do not have I the option love. to drive it. Like, that does nothing for me. Oh, a stick shift car. It's like, so you want to do more work just to get oh. where you're going? I need to like be reversing so, like and neutral. Driving. I like driving. Okay. I like speed. But I think for business, I would absolutely buy one. If there's a self-driving car, luxury, say you have a nice yes. Escalade luxury self-driving car that's going to take me, I'm all What have I told up. you that you need a million times? A driver. A personal driver. Yeah. Uh, straight, uh, now you have it built in and you don't got to pay the person. Well, it's you not fully. 10? It's not fully, fully. To, if, what's, if it, it, was what, a, what's it missing? It's If it's a fully yeah. self-driving capability, I am all in. One of my cars will be a self-driving uh, car. I yeah, once the technology is proven, I'm all over it. I am But I'm not going to be the guinea pig. Okay, so you're waiting. Yeah. 
You're so, kind of like uh, how no, you don't want to be the guinea pig with the vaccine. Let me ask you, are you guys okay not Johnson. driving? Yeah. Yes. You're okay. So you would be okay to just get into a machine and it takes you a place and you're not driving? Absolutely. No, not I mean, you? I, I would want the option still to drive, but yeah. uh, 75% of the time, I don't want to drive. Eric, you too? I don't like driving, no. Uh, uh, Sam, do you like driving? No more than an hour. Sam no loves. Kai, what do you think? So th I think there's two components. Obviously, in the, initially, if, if all the cars are digital and driving by themselves, I'd feel a lot safer. If you have people like Sam driving and your car is peacefully driving, uh, self-driving, then that point. could be an issue if there. I'm driving 100 miles an hour, I'm good. Then I, yeah. I can do that. Yeah, uh, but then I, I, also there's, point. there's the second hour. component, though. There's the second Only component, and that is with, with cars. And think of how you would change driving if you don't have to change – if you don't have to drive there. Say you have, like, a desk in the back where you can do something productive and still show up where you want to go. Uh, then you don't have the component of travel time because that can then be incorporated into – doing whatever you're doing oh, anyways. So essentially how we move around would completely change in that case because now a four hour drive is you watching a movie for four hours and you get up, you get out of the car and you're somewhere else. Or you've got Wi-Fi and you're working. And exactly. You've got your laptop going. In my opinion, your, your um, little narrative there about like, I love driving is gonna be, you know, a few decades from now, the equivalent of someone saying, Oh, I just love horseback riding. I love it. I, lo I got a horse. I, I love it. It's my so favorite. Fun. Like, I think that's where we're going. Like, there's eventually. You are so funny. There's going to be, every car is going to be driving. Like, it's going to limit accidents. Uh, it will mitigate, it will mitigate traffic. All that. Everyone's going to be on the same page and you can just do what you want to do. That, okay. That, that driver who's driving slow in the fast lane, that, uh, that won't exist. That's wow. every day to work. Florida Pat. people. I don't understand. Slower drivers. Why are semis right driving lane? in the far left lane? Like, I don't get it. But you're in the wild west here. You're in Florida. No, no. By the way, honestly, no joke. Terrible drivers here. Well, I don't know what they're doing. Like, Terrible. Why, there's, why there's, are you driving 60 in the far left lane? There's, uh, you know, you uh, know uh, who I put at the top? California, Texas, or, da uh, or, uh, or, or uh, Atlanta's, Florida? Atlanta's bad. Oh, Florida's so best drivers? Say, no, best the drivers. Oh, New York. And, uh, California, best drivers. California, Texas, or Florida? Who are oh, the best drivers? California. Texas. I say California. Really? Yeah. Hands down. Florida's the worst? Hands down. Well, we got 80-year-olds. We got people who just showed up in this country, like, out of nowhere, and they, they don't know what's going on. You got tourists. You got Europeans. Why are you talking? Why They're are you, driving on the you, other side of the story. What is your prejudice with people that show up out of another Nothing. country? Nothing. I like, I like your, ta <laughs> your tan, brown skin. Are you look great. kidding me? Hawaii did great on you. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch or if you want to see the entire podcast click over here take care everybody bye bye